I think if we really listen to student voices, we'd be shocked by what we heard. What's the goal of our school system? To educate students, right? Yet students have the least input on how they get educated. It's the adults who get to decide. One of the best things I had when I led Chicago Public Schools was Student Advisory Council. That group helped me think through so many things. When things are going well, young people know it way before adults do. When things aren't going well, young people know it way before we as adults do. Why? Because they're living it. This may be a no-brainer for those who work with students frequently, but many still think that students aren't serious enough to have input. Well, meet Nidalis Burgos. She's 18 years old, and she just graduated from Lincoln Park High School in Chicago. We are the ones as students that sit in a classroom. We're the ones who listen to our teachers, who understand our teachers, who have to take tests at the end of the day. Students have realized the attack on education is hitting very close to home. It's important to stand up because it affects everyone. Students do understand what's wrong with education, but student voice is more than just information for adults. It's a way to engage students in their education on their own terms. Particularly with kids who are struggling, um, the key to their success is their engagement. The thing we always hear from kids that kind of leave school is like, they don't care about me. Nobody knows me there. Nobody cares if I'm at school or not. Some school leaders are listening to their students. Take Principal Sharif el Meki for example. He used student input to help turn around a school that had struggled with violence. Our school was the second most violent school in the state of Pennsylvania. There were school police officers, three of them for 250 seventh and eighth grade students. The students were suspended and expelled. The violence was, was tremendous. And their experiences really helped shape what we're trying to do in the community. What makes them feel safe? What makes them enjoy coming to school? What would get them to school on days that they really didn't feel like coming? Student voice has the potential to drive change in our education system. So what could that change look like? Having students be part of a selection process, whether it's around teachers, whether it's around principals, whether you know, parents and community members, again, schools are, they serve the community. Right now, I do think I see a lot of hope in students walking out, students starting to organize, students starting to figure out that they have power. It's happening, it's happening in Baltimore, it's happening in Los Angeles, it's happening in different cities. Whether your thing is going out on the street and rallying, or your thing is writing a letter to the mayor. Whatever it is, it's important because it shows that we're reaching out to save our own education. So let's stop believing the myths about student voice. The question is not whether it is important or valuable. The real question is how are we going to use it? There comes a time when students need to understand that it is our responsibility. We can't leave this to other people because if we do, the job won't be done right. And that's why student power is important.